The role of Igelling is the most rewarding role you can play in CSGO, but the hardest role to play. Well, in this video, we're going to explain you how you can become an IGL. But first, you have to understand. If you are playing like Kerrigan in face right now, you're on top of the world. Greatest IGL ever. But if you're Kerrigan right after Boston 2018, well, you're on the other side of the bracket. The problem that lost the major and started the 1511 meme C9 Twitter always posts. Well, we need to explain the role. The IGLing role is all about being the captain of the team, being the guy that calls the shots. The IGL is the guy that makes the strats, does demo reviews of your opponent and more. You're usually the guy that have to work the most and make sure you as a team is prepared for your next match. It is as well one of the mentally hardest roles to play, since when you lose everyone looks at the IGL for the blame. So in this role your mental strength have to be strong. Well, welcome back to the series where we will look at all the fundamentals of CSGO both in roles, in positions and more. And in this video we're tackling the IGLing role, so enjoy. Now for a more fundamental part of IGLing. Let's look at the concepts you have to know and master before you start your journey as an IGL. The concepts are as follows. Defaults, executes, condition, micromanagement, demo reviews and strats and anti-strats. Well, let's look at all of these. Defaults. I already did a quick talk about defaults in a coaching video I did, but here let me explain them. Most of you already know some defaults without even knowing. If you play CT side on Mirage, ever wonder why it's 2A, 2B and 1 mid? Well, this is a CT side default on Mirage. These are made to make sure you as a CT get the most out of your position. And that's the general goal of a default. It is to set up players to fit the strat or play you want your team to do. And on T side, this gets even more complicated. A T side default for Mirage, A execute could start with a lurker in B apps for info, two guys top mid to try to make an opening, and then one palace and one ramp getting ready to take the part of the maps before the execute. So defaults are all about how you set up your teammates from the start of the round. Executes are the fun part. This is when all the effort you have put to set up your team and enemy team pays off. An execute is where you will take sight. This can be a normal execute with some smokes and flashes just to get your team out. Or you can make more high level executes as fakes or splitting a site. Executes are very reliant on all the information you have gathered from the enemy team from both the whole match, like spots they play from, utility they throw and more, and from the round, who have died, where have you gotten control and more. All of this data from the round and matches will all in 10 seconds have worked out or not. It's one of the greatest part of being an IGL. Conditioning is probably the highest level of concept I will be talking about in this video. Conditioning is all about doing the same play. This can be a smoke or a flash to make your enemy autopilot it. What do I mean about this? Well, if you always allow the Mirage ramp smoke from CTs to be untouched, never push it or anything, the CTs would start being less careful with it. Now you have entered the first step in conditioning to make them autopilot the play. This will take some rounds and after some rounds when they keep throwing it and autopiloting it, then the next step enters. In the next round, when they throw the smoke, Set up a flash and entry through the smoke and you will catch a CT off guard that can give you a kill or at least you will get some important space. Micromanagement is a big part of IGLing. Usually your team does not understand the game to such a fundamental level as an IGL is supposed to. So here you will have to learn to tell people how to play. Something like this could be, look out fast when we execute or op peak CT now. This is a crucial skill set as an IGL. Demo reviews. Demo reviews are very important since this will tell you how the enemy are playing and how they're working. Here you must learn to do the demo reviewing process efficient and smart. Here we'll make a more in-depth guide for demo reviews coming soon. But quickly, look for what their defaults are, what role each player play, how they rotate and react to fast and slow plays, and maybe where their weakness is, like a worse player, or if you rotate too much or too little. Strats and anti-strats are the meta if you want to be an IGL. You must have set executes, nades and plays to counter the strat of the enemy will play. This can be all from how to counter a default execute like a site mirage smokes, or it can be more advanced like this player always does X outside so let's set up a flash outside to kill him. Strats on the other hand is more of a blueprint of how you're gonna do things where players are gonna be. Anti strats is how you're gonna play, but strats is how you and your team will play by yourself. Last concept I want you to focus on is your mentality. If you as an IGL lose temper or gives up after some tough rounds, the rest of your team will feel this and do the same. Your mental strength is the most important of all. This will give your teammates the belief in a comeback or in your ability as a caller and more. Misconceptions. IGLing is a solo job and if a strat doesn't work, it's the IGL's fault. This is wrong. When you make a strat as an IGL, you have to make sure that every single person knows where to be, where to smoke, how to play. If one dude do a mistake, the strat might backfire and you will lose. I always show you some demos to look at but that's kinda hard since you don't get to see how an IGL talk or think. 
So my tips for you guys would be to do this. Watch in-game comms video from matches like Kerrigan make. This will give you a feeling of how to properly communicate, as well as start watching matches and try to understand what an IGL call. And the other is to start as well watching pro matches and try to understand why an IGL call for a B rush or a fake was it because they spotted someone mid, utility they have left to execute, or other factors. Well, I hope this gave you guys a big insight of how to become an IGL. If you need any help, join my Discord and contact me for coaching. Have a great day.